Good evening. This is E. Zelda Energy 3. And it's Sunday evening. I am coming to you from cold ass Los Angeles, California. It's about 40, 5, around there. It's cold. It's cold for us. Y'all live in Vermont like uh, Aaron and <laughs> Kristen, who say cold is uh, negative 10. Or, or negative four, whatever it is, we would die. Los Angeles would not survive with that type of weather. We are freezing at 40 degrees. <laughs> that might be summer to y'all, but to us, it's freezing. So, as y'all know, I stayed home Thursday. I mean, thir yeah, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. I ended up getting a shot Thursday night. Uh... And I got a nice spruce. If you can see it. Oh. And it hurts still. Shoulder's a lot better. I can close my hand. Which is a plus. So I didn't crochet nothing on Thursday. Nor Friday. But I did work on some stuff Saturday. And I'd like to show you. I'll start with the hose. <laughs> Uh, Y'all know that knitted beanie I made for my son. I bought this. I think it's Charisma. It's got like grays and reds and pinks. <coughs> Started making a beanie. <coughs> On my size 11s. I don't have very much. But it'll, it's coming along. So that's one hoe. Uh, ow. Oh, Aaron, my leg's falling asleep. Okay. My second hoe, I was at Hobby Lobby, and I bought this sugar wheel. Put my eyes on. It is called Strawberry Swish. It's burgundy, gray, coral, and then a dark red I don't like the red and I was starting the granny cowl that Rosina is doing and I'm gonna take it out I'm gonna frog it and start with the burgundy I like the burgundy and I'll do these three colors and maybe a little hint of the coral excuse me so this was a hoe now it's gonna be frogged then my other hoe, do you remember the yarn that I got? Um, Mono's the Uruguay. See how beautiful it is? It's got blacks and purples and gray. It's really, really pretty. Birthday, birthday, birthday. I am doing the boomerang shawl by, tutorial by the proper pineapple, Holly. I'm having to use a G hook because this is fingering weight and this sucker is thin as heck. Something I'm not used to. So this is, whoa, what the hell? We have a knot. <laughs> this is how far I have completed the shawl. I'm still in the early stages. I think it's going to be beautiful once it's done. It's very light and airy. You can use it in the winter, in the summer. Something about these, this purple and black that I'm just digging. Which, keep in mind those colors because y'all going to see something. Purple, black, and gray. I don't know. I'm not a purple person, but when I saw that yarn, ow, I just had to get it. So I got it, <clears throat> and then also the store on my route is selling this bag. And you all know when we see bags, we see project bags, and it's quite large. This is the front. I hope I don't offend anybody, because I always do, and then I get my thumbs down. So I don't know why I'll be looking. If you all know, you're going to get offended. So turn around. Go ahead, turn around. You ready, people? Ready? <sighs> Yep, I have too much dookie. But 
one can never have enough yarn. Uh, hence my wall. It's only one wall. I got a few walls. <laughs> so I keep my stuff in there. So I went to Michael's last night and I bought this big giant Karen big cake. Color is Night Berry. They're like muted blues. And I figured those are nice night colors. Since I made my little son the knitted hat, I decided to make my older son this hat. Put it on for ya. Ow. I just got out of the shower. So my hair's wet. Ah, it smells so good. Anybody else smell their hair when it gets out of the shower? Nice and wet. Just me. <laughs> so this is a hat I made. It is a crochet ribbed stitch beanie. It's all the colors. I did four rows of the Karen Big Cake, two rows of black. And then my San Andreas fault is right here. I did a single crochet seam and then just folded. And here's my hat. His head's a little bigger than mine. Fold the brim, get your ears nice and toasty woasty. I think it came out good. Even if he was to wear it in the front, it's not that guys ain't gonna care. I'll find a way to fix it. Oh I'll I'll figure out a way to tuck it in. But there you go. Ow. Man. <laughs> See? So that's what I did for the boy. Then, y'all know I've been working on my poncho. And I'll say it's about 98% complete. Oh. I finished, I finished all four squares. I sewed them together. I have not woven in the ends. And also, I have not added the rest of the border around it. But I want to show you because I'm proud of it. So, are you ready? Oh! Oh! I can't show you this yet! Wait, wait, hold up. Wait a minute. I need to show you this. Uh, bumbleberry gem. Plumberry. Karen Cakes, <clears throat> something like that, Zines and Roger, Granny Cowl, I made this last night as well, it's beautiful, this is a full, I love it, Rosina, this is an amazing fast pattern, boom, 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 what is this on the Ravelry thing, number five, right, you're so easy. This is going to be number six, because you said we have till the 15th. What I'm about to show you will be number seven. So, we're done with this. Easy pattern. Zines and Rogers crochet. Rosina created it. It's just a granny stitch. So, like I said, this is not... All the ends need to be woven in. I need to add one more border at the bottom. Maybe three more rows at the bottom because I like it to go at least up to here and to cover the hoo-ha. Because I don't like to show it. You know, men always be dirty and trying to be looking. Let me look at her hoo-ha. I'm not into that. So, you ready? Ta-da! I think this is going to be the front. The dark purple is Malabrigo. And then the rest is Hobby Lobby. This is the back. No, I'm not going to have fringe. I don't like fringe. 
Let me show you all though how it fits. Because I'm very proud of it. Ow. I'm stuck in the, between a corner and a hard a rock place. A hard place. Ow. So let's see. Ta -da, ta -da. Ta -da, ta -da. No, I have my jammies on. It's not there yet. It fits beautifully. It the collar is incredible. Here's the back. I don't know if y'all can see it. <laughs> That's freaking incredible, man. I put this on and I feel love. I feel happiness. I feel joy. I, all my pain is taken away. This is something I've been working so hard on and I can't figure out how the hell it goes. God dang it. <laughs> Hang on a second. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Tuck it in. Oh, man. This is the front. I think this is the front. So what do y'all think? Did I do good? Hmm, it smells beautiful too. So I'm gonna consider that a faux. All I need to do is just maybe like two, three more rows at the bottom and then tuck in all the ends. Which is nothing. But I'm excited. I'm tired. I need to go to bed. Wish me luck tomorrow. It's Monday. It's usually a heavy day. I hope y'all like my projects. I'm going to get my son his beanie. I'm going to wear my cowl to work tomorrow. I'm going to wear this to the yarn crawl. I think it's in a couple weeks. I'm really stoked about that. If anybody else is going to go, leave a comment below. Maybe I'll see y'all. Okay, I hope you have a great Sunday. Uh, Kim, Blue Cherub, oh, I just saw your video, gosh dang it. Blue Cherub, I believe. Crochet, Cherub Crochet. Kim, that's what I was talking about, my poncho. Isn't it incredible? And no, it's not hot, girl, it's freezing. Actually, it's supposed to be hot this coming week. I think Tuesday or Wednesday is going to be close to summertime. And then it goes back to freezing. So I got to go feed the kids, the doggies. And then um, they all said thank you. That they're very happy with their YouTube stars. All right, guys. Peace out. Bye.